Welcome to Qt Learning Channel. In this lecture, we will discuss the brittle fracture. Description of damage. Brittle fracture is the sudden rapid fracture under stress, residual or applied, where the material exhibits little or no evidence of ductility or plastic deformation. Please note that features of brittle fractures as illustrated in figures usually occurs without visible or audible warning. In certain cases bright crystalline appearance. Little if no reduction in area. Little if no evidence off shear lips. In certain cases a chevron pattern appearance, the chevron pattern points back to the point of initiation. May be a straight brittle fracture or secondary mode of failure. As illustrated in figures. Brittle fracture of a shaft caused by a small fatigue crack close to the keyway. The fatigue would be expected to start at the keyway route but actually began at a surface defect. Affected materials Carbon steels and low alloy steels are of prime concern, particularly older steels. 400 series stainless steel are also susceptible even if not embrittled. In addition, materials susceptible to an embrittling mechanism such as sigma phase embrittlement 885 degrees Fahrenheit embrittlement, temper embrittlement, strain aging embrittlement, or titanium hydriding. Pose a risk for brittle fracture if they are sufficiently embrittled. As illustrated in figure, as materials get thinner, the amount of material under plane stress decreases, increasing the likelihood of a ductile failure mode. So, thicker material sections have an inherently lower resistance to brittle fracture due to the nature of the stress state within a thick section of metal. Thick sections are under higher constraint i.e. they are constrained from deforming, which increases triaxial stresses at the crack tip and promotes brittle, rather than ductile, fracture. As illustrated in figure, in most cases, in materials that exhibit a ductile to brittle transition. Brittle fracture occurs only at temperatures below the Charpie impact transition temperature. Also called the ductile to brittle transition temperature. The temperature at and below which the toughness of the material drops off sharply. Affected units or equipment. Equipment manufactured to the ASME Boiler and Pressure Vessel Code Section 8, Division 1. Prior to the December 1987 Addenda. Had no code required restrictions on. Notch toughness for vessels operating at cold temperatures. Most processes run at elevated temperature. So the main concern is for brittle fracture during 
start up, shut down, or hydro test slash tightness testing. Thick wall equipment, in particular, in any unit should be evaluated. Brittle fracture resulting from an auto refrigeration event should be considered in units processing light hydrocarbons such as methane, ethane ethylene, propane propylene, or butane. This includes alkylation units, olefin units, and polymer plants, polyethylene and polypropylene. Storage bullets and spheres for light hydrocarbons may also be susceptible. Brittle fracture can occur during ambient temperature hydro testing due to high stresses and low toughness at the testing temperature. Appearance or morphology of damage. Cracks will typically be straight, non-branching, and L. Argeely devoid of any associated plastic deformation. Although, fine shear lips may be found along the free edge of the fracture, or localized necking around the crack may occur. Brittle fracture of vessel shell during hydro test as illustrated in figure. The fracture surface, if undamaged after the initial fracture, will exhibit visible chevron markings that point back to the crack origin point. These markings can be helpful in locating the initiating cause of the brittle fracture as illustrated in figure close up view of the fracture surface from a vessel made of a 516-70 plate showing the chevron pattern that points back toward the origin of the crack microscopically the fracture surface will be composed largely of cleavage with limited intergranular cracking and very little microvoid coalescence. Prevention mitigation for new equipment Brittle fracture is best prevented by using materials specifically designed for low temperature operation including upset and auto refrigeration events or will have additional requirements to account for a large wall thickness. Materials with controlled chemical composition, special heat treatment, and or impact test verification may be required. For existing equipment, preventing and minimizing the possibility of a brittle fracture in existing equipment rely upon controlling the operating conditions, pressure, temperature, minimizing pressure at Ambient temperatures during startup and shutdown. Not hydro testing at too low a temperature. And periodic inspection at high stress locations. As applicable to the specific situation. An engineering study can be performed in accordance with API 579. ASME Fitness for Service, Section 3, Level 1 or 2. Appropriate Analysis.
to assess the defective equipment availability. Inspection and monitoring. Routine inspection is not normally used to detect or mitigate brittle fracture, but awareness of susceptible equipment can help prevent future damage. Susceptible vessels can be inspected for pre-existing crack-like fabrication flaws, as well as for cracking from relevant in-service cracking mechanisms using magnetic particle testing, liquid penetrant testing, and or ultrasonic testing, as applicable. Related mechanisms to brittle fracture Temper embrittlement Strain age embrittlement 885 degrees Fahrenheit embrittlement Titanium hydriding and Sigma embrittlement Brittle fracture summary Description Cracks are straight, non-branching with no plastic deformation. Temperature range Below ductile to brittle transition temperature Affected metallurgy Carbon steels and low alloy steels and 400 series stainless steel Prevention Existing equipment Perform fitness for service, appropriate analysis, to assess the defective equipment availability. New equipment. Using materials specifically designed for low temperature operation. Inspection methods. Inspection is not normally used to mitigate brittle fracture. Practice time. Question number one. Brittle fracture is most likely to result from which of the following? Answer is A. Question number two. Brittle fracture of a component is directly related to Answer is B. Question number three. What is the main concern about the potential for brittle fracture? Answer is A. Question number four. How brittle fracture looks like on morphology of damage? Answer is A. This lecture is prepared by Samir Saad and this is his profile. Thanks a lot for watching and please waiting us for the next lecture.